hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install a brand new model from google which is Gemma. Gemma comes in various sizes and we will be locally installing it on our ubuntu system you can do the same on your windows system or any other operating system as long as you have python installed i have one gpu of 16 gb of vram and my memory size or ram size is 32 gb before I show you how to install it, let me give you a quick overview of this Gemma family of models. Gemma is a family of lightweight, state-of-the-art open models built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. I have done various videos on Gemini, even I did one yesterday, so please search it on the channel if you are interested. This Gemma model has been developed by Google DeepMind and other teams across Google. Gemma is named after the Latin word Gemma, meaning precious stone. The Gemma model weights are supported by developer tools that promote innovation, collaboration and the responsible use of AI. Gemma models are available to run in your application and on your hardware, mobile devices or hosted services. You can also customize these models using tuning techniques so that they excel at performing tasks that matter to you and your users of course. Gemma models draw inspiration and technological lineage from the Gemini family of models and are made for the AI development community to extend and take further. You can use Gemma models for text generation, but also you can fine tune these models to specialize in performing specific tasks. Tuned Gemma models can provide you and your users with more targeted and efficient Gen AI solutions. I will also be doing another video on tuning with LoRa these Gemma models but for this one let's see what you can build with Gemma after installing the base model. This Gemma model is available in several sizes so you can build Gen AI solution based on your available computing resources, the capabilities you need and where you want to run them. If you are not sure where to start I would suggest try out the 2 billion parameter size for the lower resource requirement and more flexibility in where you deploy the model so that is why for this one i'm not going to install the larger one which is Gemma 7 billion i'm just going to go with Gemma 2 billion but if you have more beefy system the instructions are same in order to install it okay so both 2 billion 7 billion variants of this Gemma models are text oriented input is text output is text and you can of course fine tune them okay now one last point using the keras 3 multi backed feature you can also run these models on tensorflow jax and pytorch or even use the native implementation of jax based on the flax framework and pytorch if you are not aware of what keras 3 is i have done another video in great detail and simple words so please search the channel for it okay now let's get to my local ubuntu system and see how you can install it so i am using ubuntu 22.04 as you can see on your screen let me clear the screen and then we will install the prerequisites so there are two things you need to install first is accelerate so just type pip accelerate dash dash upgrade press enter and even if you have installed it already please install it again because that is important okay let me actually clear my screen and just bring it bit up so that you can see the output there you go clear and then also pip install transformers dash upgrade there are uh, new versions of these transformer transformers and accelerate so make sure to install it or you already have python 3 installed with pip let's clear the screen so these are the only two prerequisites required let's fire up our python interpreter that is done also let me set the screen clear code so that it will be easier to clear the screen later on that's cool okay now let's see how can we install it now the first thing we need to do is to import the transformers modules which is auto tokenizer and auto model for causal lm that is done Secondly, grab the tokenizer and you can see that I am grabbing the tokenizer for Gemma 2 billion. 
that is also done and now let's get the gamma 2 billion model with device map auto so that if even if you are using cpu it should work but the speed will be slow it is loading the model and you can see that the first tensor is being loaded the size is around 5 gig let's wait for it to finish And second tensor is smaller and then it is just loading the checkpoints of the model and that is done now let's give it uh, input prompt just write any of yours that is done now let's pass it as an input to the model and because I have a GPU so I'm using CUDA which is a, um, a toolkit for NVIDIA GPUs that is done now let's grab the output from the model You can ignore this warning, output is done. And now let's print what model has come up with. There you go. Okay, so model says, I'm not sure what you mean by, that is fine. Uh, because I'm also controlling the output here. Now, you can see that how easy it is to get these models installed quickly on Ubuntu system. And as I said, these are all Python commands. If you have Windows, feel free to use it, same command by launching. Python um, and then pip and Python and that's all you need in order to install and run these models. Let's try out one more prompt. So let me clear the screen to see it better. That is good. So in this next one, I'm asking it which one came first. Ego chicken, explain it to a six year old. And then I'm passing the input to the model and nothing got printed. Okay, let me see maybe we'll just decode the output there so try it again and this time model says the answer is neither and I think we need to do some manipulation on the output but anyway it's not a big deal um, we might do another video we will just try out different prompts on the model because I have been also trying to run it on LM studio and few other GUI tools but they are not supporting because the model was just released six hours ago so anyway but uh, now we know how to install it before I end the video just a note on this model that these models um, we can modify the behavior of these JAMA models with additional training so that the model performs better on specific tasks and as I mentioned earlier that this model is called as fine tuning and I believe that is where this model will shine because these models remember these are the base models so these output behaviors are expected and while this technique improves the tuning technique improves the ability of a model to perform targeted tasks it also may cause the model to become worse at other tasks so make sure when you are using the specialized task for this gemma model you just stick with it if you need any other task maybe use adapter there is another technique called as lora x where you can use different adapters anyway so you can either use pre-trained one or instruction tuned okay so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you are stuck facing any issues let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network thanks for watching